So you see all these cool photos of birds and you're thinking to yourself, how can I join in the fun? I want to go bird watching too. I want to take pictures of birds. How can I start and where do I find them? Well, I am going to be giving you some secret tips on how to do just that effectively. First thing you have to understand is that in order to be a bird watcher, you do not have to be a bird photographer. You can actually get out there and enjoy bird watching without a camera. You do not need a camera to do this. You might need binoculars though, because sometimes birds, they will hide in trees or be so far away that you do not see them. And then you have great blue herons that you can spot, you know, in close proximity to you. So you might not even need binoculars for that either, right? So the first thing you might need as a bird watcher is or are binoculars. But if you do not have binoculars, do not fret. There are birds that land close enough for you to spot them. Now here for the for the cheat, for the cheat 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 codes, cheat whatever you want to call it. Now you think, oh, I'm so intimidated. Oh my goodness, these people know so much about birds. Oh my goodness, Tony can name all the birds. No, I can't. I do not know it all. I am learning along the way. And the things that I do learn, I bring to you. And I might seem like, oh my goodness, I'm so knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> it's called experience because again, I am knowledgeable about the things that I have encountered, the things that I have studied, the things that I have observed, but there's some birds that I see out there and I'm like, what is that? What bird is that? And then you get birds that go, oh, well, that's the run. And, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and again, don't let anybody intimidate you because again, knowledge is free. Okay. You can learn along the way, just like they did. They didn't learn, you know, from the womb, they learned along the way too. Now here are some things that will help you and you will need a phone for this. Okay. How do you find birds? Where do you know where to find them? There is an app called eBird. It's by Cornell Labs and I use that a lot. Let's say today I'm like, oh, I wanna see some owls. I go into this eBird app and I type in the type of owl that I wanna see, then I put in my proximity within this location. And it's gonna tell you because people contribute to this app and tell you, oh, I saw a great horned owl or I saw a barn owl at this location two days ago or 10 minutes ago or 15 days ago. It will give you a general idea of where to find them. And sometimes down to the exact location. And you could just go in your maps and punch it in and follow the, um, follow the map. That is one very easy way to find the birds, to get to where to find the birds. Use the eBird app. So it's not like, oh, um, you know, brain science, like, oh, you know, magician or birders um, magic or bird photographer, wildlife photographer magic. It's all word of mouth. It's all people sharing information. I saw a raven this morning outside my home. I saw um, a finch in my yard and I have been getting a lot of Phoebes in my yard. I wonder why, but I'm not going to tell you where I live. <laughs> but I have been getting a lot of Phoebes for some, I don't know, pretty cool though. Anyways, so that's the first step, knowing where to find the birds. And the easy way, if you don't want to ask anybody, is using the eBird app. Very easy to use. Second step, there's another app called Merlin. If you hear a bird and you're like, huh, what is that? I don't know what bird that is. You can use Merlin to identify sounds and it will tell you, even if you don't see the bird, what bird that is. Now I have found Merlin can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes I'll turn in, turn on Merlin to identify a bird and it just does nothing. And it can be a little frustrating. So Merlin is an app that you have to be super, super duper patient with. Now my favorite app for bird watching or just identifying birds is Picture Bird. Yes, I use the free version. They do have a paid version, but I use the free version and it works just fine for me. Um, and no, they're not paying me for this. I am just trying to help you out and let you know what I use. No secrets here. <laughs> Sharing the steps that I use sometimes. If I see a bird and I'm not sure what bird it is because, oh, this is my first time encountering that bird, I will take that picture of the bird and I will put it in Picture Bird and it will very accurately identify that bird. 
it does get it wrong sometimes because there's some birds that kind of look alike, like a royal tern can be misidentified as another type of tern. So you have to kind of do your due diligence and compare, um, you know, notes. When all else fails, again, there's one thing that I absolutely do use as one. I'm going to show you in a second. Give me a minute. I'm going to push back. <laughs> all right. No, this is for me when I go out and um, document things. That's not what we're talking about. So this, I use this a lot and it is super, oh my goodness. It's probably one of my favorite, like, you know how some people read novels? I read this. <laughs> it is super accurate and it helps me identify because there's some birds that just by looking at them, you cannot tell the difference, Right. You cannot tell the difference. It's really hard to just tell the difference between the two birds. It could be something very simple. Like, oh, the tail has a zigzag and the other one is straight. But they're the exact same color. I know. So to the regular eye, it's like, how am I supposed to know? So this actually helps me a lot. Like, look at this hawk. A lot of them look the same. But it might just be something very simple. Like, this one has chestnut wing lining. And this one has a black wing lining. How am I supposed to know that, right? So this book helps a lot. The only thing with this book is I have not been able to find, this is for North America. And it's a field guide to birds of North America. I have not been able to find, again, I'm not being paid for this, but I use this book. So it's one of the things that I find very helpful to my bird um, photography and identifying birds. But I have found that I can't find like other places. I The one for North America is the one I bought. But what about other places? I wish they would make some. If you know if they made others, I've searched and I have not found. Um, if you know if they made some for other places, please let me know. Give me a link or something because I will collect them all like Pokemons <laughs> or Thanos rings. <laughs> anyway, so those are some of the things that I use to um, identify birds. Again, to be a bird watcher or go out birding, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. You can do it, anybody can do it. Now, if you wanna be a photographer, I will break it to you and tell you that you will need equipment. You will need a good camera. You would need, you don't need anything fancy. I mean, like I use this big old thing right here. Um. I know. <laughs> I use this big old thing right here and that's because I'm a professional. I do this professionally and I want to get in there and I want to get the details. I want to, you know, I don't want to get up close to some of the birds and I want to be able to capture a lot of things. So I use this. You don't have to. You're enjoying viewing wildlife. You do not have to go that far. You can use binoculars um, if you're not taking pictures. And if you are taking pictures, you can use your phone for birds that are up close and zoom in. Now, if you want to go professional, then you now start to, or be a hobbyist, like a, I've seen like hobbyists that have bigger equipment than I do. Um, then you start looking into investing in equipment and they can get pretty expensive. So think about that. But I don't want you thinking that you have to invest in all these things to enjoy birds or to enjoy wildlife or to enjoy nature. You can go to a park. There's a park um, that I have featured in one of my, you know, um, BTS vlogs where you can just sit there and you will see, I mean, you'll see ducks, you'll see herons, you'll see comorons, you'll see black, um, red winged blackbirds, you'll see all sorts, you know, just by sitting there and no binoculars needed, no camera needed. You could just use your phone if you feel like documenting them. And even if you don't feel like documenting them, you don't have to use your memory. So I want you to get out there and enjoy birding. So those are some tips on how to start bird watching or be a birder. And if you eventually want to become a bird photographer, then of course you will have to um, maybe in, you know invest in a camera and some specialized gear. But if you just want to enjoy it, you do not need all that. The most you will need is binoculars. And even if you don't have binoculars, you can still enjoy them. Okay, but enjoy them responsibly. Don't go chasing them and don't go scaring them and keep your dogs away from them because I've seen dogs chase wildlife and it's not fun. They can get harmed while running from your dogs. Just be responsible. Be a responsible wildlifer. <laughs> All right, that is going to be it. 
um, for this behind there. And that is some of the tools that those are, those are, <laughs> those are some of the tools that I use. And I have a lot of experience and I still use them till today. If I go to Costa Rica, I will be making use of all these tools because again, you know, I've never been and I'm not familiar. Um, even if I have a guide, I'm still going to use all these tools because they are very, very useful. All right. So that is going to be it. Do not forget to comment. If you enjoyed these tips, comment below. Let me know um, what you enjoyed about it and when you're going to get out there and bird. And tell me, what are your favorite birds? What bird would you love to see? I know some of my favorites are ravens, owls, and kingfishers. I love kingfishers. And I am on a mission to see every single kingfisher ever, 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 ever faced on this earth placed <laughs> on this all right um that is going to be it thank you for watching